from the G and Ursula show, here is G Scott himself. Tacoma resident and uh, not a scooter user. So you're not going to miss the the scooters when Tacoma gets rid of them? No, get rid of them. Hmm. And Why is uh, that? Because, like Colleen said before coming in, I do believe that they are fun. I do believe that they are convenient. I do believe that they are cool. Hmm. And they're fun, convenient, and cool until they're not. And what happens until they're not? Until you've that little pothole or that little rock or that little wow. oopsie or that overcorrection. And you say, wow, when, when I first dropped my son off at Ohio State back in uh, January of 2020, and, you know, everybody's on the scooters and stuff like that, I told him, I said, of course, being the dad, I'm like, hey, I know they look cool, sound cool, but those are dangerous, right? Like, be, be careful. I'm assuming that most people aren't going to be wearing a helmet when they get on those things anyways. Right. Don't let it fool you because it only takes one little rock to mess up the entire situation that you didn't see. Um, six months? of No, it, it was after he had come back because the pandemic had happened. It was when he had gotten back to uh, Ohio State later on in the year. Yep, hit a rock, boom. <gasps> Oh skint his wrist up and hands, and he's Ooh. like, yeah, I'm done, never again. I don't know the reason yet as to why they're getting rid of him in Tacoma, but another thing that I see often is what people do with them. I don't know why people or how people trash them, because don't they get your credit card and all that kind of stuff? Yeah, you ever so. see them thrown everywhere yeah. and trashed? And I don't think it's the person I, renting them, trashing them. I don't think them, so either. <laughs> I rode them for the first time, and I don't remember the brand. I think it was Lime or something like that yeah. in Spokane when I went to go see the Foo Fighters, and it was a hot day, and you know, there's so many people in town for this, and it was just yeah. an easy way to get through. If you know Spokane, there's the big riverfront park that divides the downtown core from other neighborhoods. We rode it through Riverfront Park, which I thought was uh, uh, an appropriate use of those scooters. I would never feel comfortable on a sidewalk or street in them, especially since they don't come with helmets. But cruising through a park, a paved park, and they also had geofencing so that when you were in a pedestrian heavy area like the bridge, you could only go, you know, five or seven miles an hour. But they can zip around pretty fast. So I don't know. Giving up on them altogether, a city invests in that relationship with the company. That's taxpayer money that goes into it so to just throw it out the window it seems like they can be applied um in a better way like spokane does if you were to fall off those things who's that on well you sign away your rights when you sign into the app and you say hey i understand the risks i i understand i don't think you can go after this who's city. that on if you hit somebody if you hit dave if dave ross yeah. and i that's what i'm worried about. i'm using the pedestrian in this mix and I'm walking along the I-90 trail, right, and there's bicycles, electric bicycles, scooters, people on unicycles, segways. I mean, you know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so you think because you walk along a trail, you've got the privilege to silence right. and be by yourself. I just don't huh? wanna, We're going to harken back to your no, commentary and yeah, crying no, babies. You're absolutely right. I just don't want to be hit. That's all. And Have you ever uh, been hit? Come close. Who's that on, though? Who pays for that? The, the person who's going faster. Yeah. The rider does. Oh, okay. So so every single time, the rider is at fault if he hits a pedestrian. I'm yeah. asking. Uh, it depends on... my deduction. Actually, it depends on the jurisdiction you're in. There are some places where if the pedestrian breaks the law, the pedestrian is responsible. But it's you're still... I mean, car versus pedestrian, no matter who's at fault, it goes bad for the driver. It goes bad for the driver. Yeah. And so I would. I wonder, on, on, on the mean streets of Spokane or the mean streets of uh, Tacoma, I wonder who's at fault if a rider on a scooter hits a pedestrian. How many accidents have we even heard of involving these scooters and pedestrians? I, I oh, really haven't heard any. Oh, oh. I personally, hypotheticals no, 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 I'm not speaking hypotheticals when uh, my son tells me about it, how it happens yeah. all the time. Really? In these co because... Guess, guess what? Oh, I don't want to drive, so I've been drinking. Let oh, me get on this I scooter. See. I see. Yeah. yeah.